and sale rules. Governors meet in Abuja over bill at refund powers. So the third world will meditate the case to international parliament. As it threatens to go on nationwide strike, gives reasons. Good evening, welcome to MCL News. I am with your hands. Thanks for joining us. And the 36 state governors under the umbrella of Nigeria Governors Forum NGF are currently meeting in Abuja. News agency of Nigeria reports that the governors are to discuss the time frame for the refund of the 614 billion naira billet fund issued to the state by the federal government. The governors, according to the meeting, are they will deliberate on getting an update on deductions for budget support facility from the appropriate organ of government. They are also scheduled to discuss proposal for recovery of funds due to state governments withholding tax issues and collection of brand rent. The governors are also to discuss Intel and MTEL, among other matters later in the agenda of the meeting. Also on the agenda was the briefing by Governor Master L. Fire of Kaduna State on the National Executive Council NAC Ad Hoc Committee on Assets Crude and other special accounts of the Federation. The governors would also get update on primary health care on the one roof and other health related matters. The state government has concluded plans to develop not less than 300 travel sites through partnership with private travel firms and enthusiasts. Commissioner for Information, Lua Olumilua, said made the revelation. Olumilua said the present administration perceived tourism, culture, and agriculture as areas to diversify the economy so that the state could stop relying on federal allocation to survive. Olumilua assured an Ikita-based tourism destination marketing organization that government would partner them to make the state a tourism hub. He assured the marketing company that government will also assist them to realize their dream of making a major travel site to the state, a South Cave, a viable resort. The organization disclosed that Ikiti has over 300 travel centers that have the capacity of fortifying the economy which excessive governments have invested in the sector. An Amanda state government is assured victims of initial fire that they will be compensated for their losses before Christmas. Deputy Governor Dr. Kim Mukeke gave the deadline. Dr. Mukeke expressed optimism that by December, a initial fire panel of inquiry handling the compilation and verification of affected persons would have completed their job. The Deputy Governor said the committee would harmonize list of shops and affected persons in order to ensure that only genuine victims are given their assistance. The committee was at the scene of the disaster to find out the number of people affected and to evaluate the condition condition of buildings that were burned. The deputy governor met some traders for building their shops and commended them for their resilient spirit. And former deputy president of the Senate, Senator E.K. Mother, has taken the rising cases of xenophobic attacks in South Africa to the October session of the International Parliament for Tolerance and Peace, IPTP, holding in Ethiopia. Speaking on Monday at the opening plenary of the parliament, the grandmother urged the parliament to pay special attention to the problem of xenophobic attacks on the African continent. The grandmother is the chairman, legal and legislative committee of the parliament. He commended the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Ahmed Abe, for his efforts to promote promoting tolerance and peace in the East African nation, but also for ending Ethiopia's 20-year hostilities with Eritrea. The Queen Mother also expressed satisfaction with the impact and expansion of international parliament for tolerance and peace since the inauguration in Malta in July 2018. 
the Court of Appeals sitting in Uwe has dismissed the separate appeals filed by the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, ABC, Mr. Mascot Uzo Kalu, and that of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Honorable Uzo Azubike. They are challenging printed judgment of the National Assembly election petition tribunal in Umaya Aga State. The National Tribunal had on 26 August 2019 affirmed OC prestige the candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance after as winner of the February 23 House of Representatives election conducted in about north and about south federal constituency. The Justice I.J. Mbaba, while reading the judgment, struck out the suit for lack of knowledge added by the earlier tribunal judgment, which upheld prestige re-election stands. Other judges who were present at the appeal court included Justice T.N. T.O.R.G. and Justice A.O. Olukwa Sobibbe. The economic staff hidden of universities as to has threatened to embark on nationwide strike if the federal government failed to remove salaries of its members at the end of this month. The union said that the strike will reinforce members' rejection of the integrated payment personnel information system, IPPIS, allegedly being forced on its members by the federal government. But it backed down Zoe Novasu while the actor insisted that his members will go on strike if the salaries of his members are not remitted at the end of October. The union insisted on no pay due work while rejecting the proposed enrollment of his members on the contract. Special IPPIS platform. The union zonal coordinator, Dr. Ade Adejuma, who spoke on behalf of his members, described the IPPS as a new and strange regime of finance about to be forced on public universities in Nigeria. Adejuma stated this while addressing journalists in Ibadan, the Oyo State Capital. And still to come on MCO News, POS, a thriving business in Omaha. Major sworn in as Abia Abe Commissioner. Court strikes out suit, hope the Democratic Party suit against Hawaii. Set up emergency declared as California wildfire rages. Details of these and more after the break. Please stay with us. Apple's fried chicken limited. I don't carry come again, yo. Oh, yeah, make one listen. You be run me or juju, papa or mama, bobo or sissy, picking uncle and auntie them, even including our village people. Apple's fried chicken limited for 54 Okibo Road. Abba, they promise say them go give you. Yes, I mean you. Hey, you, 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 you. Good discount for this month of independent. Yes, so oh, when the discount go wait for you. For Apple Strike Chicken Limited, just walk at JJ enter our office and enjoy our continental or African dishes, including our varieties of pastries, and see how we go summer you with confirmed good discount. Go come, no day. This one now, wait and pay. You know, say we know the ball now. Over the years now, we don't they give you now quality fruits and pastries. So, therefore, keep enjoying Apple Strike Chicken. For more to recall, 0703 890 9708 or 0706 520 5854. Apples experience the test. Do not deface Abia State with posters. Do not defecate on our streets. Not litter Abia State. My brothers, I say, what did man go do for this world where people no go talk? Do not urinate in public places. Do not talk in the talk. What do you make me do for this one? I say, make me do the things where we carry my heart. My soul won't want that. 
Keep Abia State clean. This message is brought to you by the MCL TV. Welcome back and get still on to MCN News. We shall be joining our own live studios where Mara Cafe is already standing by for more news. Good evening, and welcome to Omaha. Our state governor, Okeze Ikbazo, has sworn in the former commissioner for education, Professor Ikeji Moji, as commissioner for agriculture. The governor of the solid and ceremony tries to bring his vast expertise to bear in his new office and bring about economic development. Governor Ikbazo has reminded him that he's called to serve and joined him to work with his administration's policies and programs. Emerging as such as speech promise to serve the state, and assured that he would put the interests of Adams first. To drive home the much talked about cashless policy in the country, the Central Bank of Nigeria introduced the point of cell technology, also known as POX, into the Nigerian business environment. This was aimed at curtailing the amount of physical money that turned his hand in daily business transactions across the country. In this report, a correspondent in Chitati Chikwaja reports that despite the seasons that may have associated with the system, PRS operation has become a thriving business in Omaha, the other state capital. The point of sale system was introduced in Nigeria in 2012 by the Central Bank of Nigeria to drive home its cashless policy aimed at enhancing Nigeria's payment system. The initiative since its introduction has recorded remarkable success. An April 2019 data by the Nigeria Interbank Settlement Scheme shows that a total of 287,213 POS terminals were registered by various banks for cashless transactions since its introduction. Also, the data shows that the volume of transactions on these terminals increased in April 2019 to 246.097 billion naira from 222.291 billion naira in March 2019. What is noticeable there are different parts of Umwaha today appears to make credence to the data. At virtually every business point, especially in front of banks, POS operators, majority of who are youth, are seen carrying out their businesses. They play the role of automated teller machines, ATM, by meeting the various cash needs of people for a fee of 100 naira. Although it has been alleged that some banks deliberately shut down their ATM services, mostly in the morning hours, a movement is says to pay way for POS agents to make sales. Respondents say they prefer POS to wasting time on long ATM queues. <laughs> I'm going to go to the 
The system is faced with challenges which range from poor network, high cost of operation, and the risk of being robbed of swindled. But Francis AGK, a PAS merchant, says the challenges do not deter the operators from pushing forward. While the CBN may be seen to be making headways with its cashless policy, it is worthy of note that this policy is also helping to reduce the unemployment rate in the country, especially in Omaha, through the POS service, which is now a means of livelihood to the vendors. Uchatachi Chukwaja, MCR News. The Supreme Court has struck out suits filed by the Democratic Party and its presidential candidates, Ambrose Oruro, challenging the Senate, the declaration of President Muhammad Gali as winner of the 24th presidential election. The FS Court vowed to bear the appeal afresh from the reporters by the party, but the court's final decision which this means the appeal was based on technicality rather than a male the FS Court struck out the appeal following the dramatic withdrawal of all of an application calling for restoration of the appeal to be held afresh. Justice Omukaya De Arivola, who led four other justices. had sought for leave of the court to allow them to bring back the appeal to which had been struck out due to errors of filing to a notice. into the early hours of today, losing ground to the huge blaze burning to the defense of Sonoma Wine region in Northern California. California's governor declared a statewide emergency on Sunday as the wind driven flanked tank fire spread to more than 34,000 acres, forcing residents to flee. Meanwhile, the local fire department in Los Angeles issued mandatory evacuation orders after a very dynamic bush fire broke out west of a major highway near 405 near the Jetsy Museum. Refugees from the King Cape Blaze, the largest of more than a dozen burning throughout the state, were called hasty departures as they waited it out in the safety of a community center in Petaluma, California. Although we are not so lucky, the fire has destroyed dozens of homes and vineyards, including the renowned 150-year-old Soda Rock Winery. That's it for Global Heights. Back to you, Ruth Hans for the rest of the news. I am Noah Okafor. Welcome back. Thank you, Noah, and now a continuation of the news. The society is presently plagued with various debilitating illnesses, and one of such is autism. Autism spectrum disorder, ASD, is a psychological illness which, like so many, is often neglected. I'm so we share the spotlight on the illness and how it can be managed. The report. Autism spectrum disorder, simply referred to in the medical profession as autism, is a disturbance in psychological development in which the use of language, reaction to stimuli, interpretation of the world and the formation of relationships are not fully established and follow unusual patterns. In Nigeria, it is poorly managed due to assumptions that the affected child is seen as being possessed and therefore requires ritual act of driving out the supposed unseen forces from the child. MCL News spoke to a pediatrician who highlighted the symptoms and causes of autism. Um, of course, as a result of genetic illness, associated with some syndromes like Rett syndrome and Sajar 
Rhodes syndrome and some other mutations that occur in the gene formation as the child is going through in the womb. But it doesn't cause, it's not caused by any pain in the environment and it has a low incidence. Like uh, the behavioral aspect of it, you know, is like that child that is in uh, has a low behavioral syndrome has a condition which is at all the challenges. The challenges in the social aspect of it, the form of skills. And the child with autism has that kind of repetitive behavior. You know, they may decide to either go to sleep, go on the same way. And anything to show them from that normal way that you are showing them is not going to be accepted. Dr. Ohamiye further gave insight on how the psychosocial behavior can be managed, advising parents and guardians, institutions and the society to join hands in taking care of the autistic child. She decried the nonchalant attitude of the society and the government towards autistic children. From criteria, three of them, that needs to be ascertained before you can talk about management. Management starts from the history. The mother or the caregiver need to know what are those symptoms that you can see in a child and you now know that that child is really from the moment. The um, social aspect of the communication is lacking. Like I said, this autism can start before one year. The majority of them can start between 18 months and 25 months. And you have to detect these clinical symptoms, those signs, those things that are not a lot of children that can now make you to go to the hospital, the appropriate place to go, so that the, the diagnosis can be made. And then the management will be done in the hospital and the child will be able to do it. Research shows that one in 160 children have autism. 11.4% of children suffer from ASD in Nigeria as of August 2019 due to lack of early detection and treatment in most Nigerian communities. Amanda Kalo, MCL News. It was a moment of joy as Ogechi Abakoba celebrated her birthday today at MCL TV Studios. As Dan Dukwe reports. It has almost become a tradition for staff of the Kero TV outfit to rejoice and celebrate with one of their own that becomes a year older. On Monday, despite having a deadline to beat, the staff temporarily abandoned their busy schedule to celebrate the birthday of Ogechi Abakoba, an intern with the company. In their suppressed speeches, some members of staff described the celebrant as a humble and obedient student who is eager to learn. Mauritius is going to give her more long life and long celebration of you and that beings in the future and then she also should be very, very close to God. Uh, she's a quiet person, a humble person. Um, she's one who, like, even if she doesn't um, need something, or like, she, she aspires to know almost everything here. Yeah, and I love her goodness. I love everything about her because she's humble and she's willing to learn. I feel happy. You know, it is such a long journey for one to see. You know, after I tell her this in five days, uh, you have a mark of the particular day you are born on earth. It's a long journey. I see her as a very calm and eager to learn. Even if there are things that seem to be difficult, she remains calm and asks. The highlight of the brief ceremony was the coating of the birthday cake by the celebrant, assisted by the general manager, broker services, Ogo Agro, and others. A E S U N S Jesus.
The celebrant expressed joy with, with the support and joy shown by her staff of the company. We will find the more trying. We will find the more things to see because it's really possible for me to be around with you. I feel excited as all the reward that she may expect unto him alone, Jesus. Ogechi Abakova is a mass communication student of Ken Saro Wiwa Polytechnic, River State. Esther Ndukwe, MCO News. Happy birthday to you, Ogechi Abakova. A Catholic pontiff, Pope Francis on Sunday, described the late 40-year-old Vivian Ogo as an example to all Christians in Nigeria and the rest of the world. And brothers had shot the teenager to death after she resisted being raped by them when her family house in Benin City was invaded nearly 10 years ago. The Pope, represented by Archbishop Guam Pentno D'Artoso, spoke on Sunday at the closing ceremony of the National Mission Congress of Nigeria in Benin City. The Congress held at the Vidya Local Missionary Animation Center in Benin City and is part of the church's processes of determining whether to beautify her for sainthood. The Bill State Governor, Dad Mabaseki, President of the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, and Bishop Augustine Akubeze, eulogized the life and times of Vivian Ogu, saying her life was worth a revelation. And President Muhammad Wari has condoled the family of late Prime Minister Abubakar Tafara Balewa on the loss of Haji Ajumai Abubakar Balewa's last surviving wife who died on Sunday. Wari's communist message was communicated in a statement issued by Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity Gabi Bashim on Sunday. In the message sent to the Borja State Governor Bala Mohammed, Wari said, quote, it was with a deeper sense of sorrow but I have learned of the tragic demise of Haji Adjumai Tafawa Balawa. In her sad demise, Nigeria has lost an outstanding political figure who was passionately committed to the cause of the family and the legacies of her late husband. Noah Adwari has elected the secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, to make available an aircraft for the evacuation of the remains of the deceased from Lagos to Belchi. The remains of the late Prime Minister's wife, who died at the age of 85, will be committed to Mother Earth in Belchi on Monday. And President Muhammad Adwari has congratulated the Golden Eagles for beginning the post stage in a good note, on a good note rather, by winning the opening match of FIFA World Cup Brazil 2019. Nigeria on the 17th football team won 4-2 over Hungary, signaling their readiness to win the FIFA Championship for the sixth time. In a statement by Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Gary Bashim, where we praised the boys for their determination to excel. The President assured them of his continuing personal support and that of Nigerians for the entire period of the tournament. He also urged the team to continue demonstrating the resilient spirit of the Nigerians and bring the cup home. President Muhammad Abari equally congratulated the handlers of the team, urging them to be sensitive to the needs of the young stars and their burning desire to bring victory and honor to their fatherland. As you're talking sports, a international FC of Abao signed the booster their Calf Confederation Cup group stage chances with a 2 0 win against TS Galaxy in Abao. Victor Boma scored the opening goal in the seventh minute of the first half, while Martin Osule sealed the victory for the Abba Giants in the second half. The encounter at the England International Stadium started in frenzy with both sides searching for an early opener. It was not all England but all through the first period as TS Galaxy also had some decent chances of their own but did not travel fearfulness a fully high in goal for the hopes. The visitors in the later stages of the first half grew in confidence as they took over the midfield and would have equalized in the 42nd minute but had a fellow Kai to beat. The second leg comes up on 3rd of November and the draw will be enough to see a number FC to the group stage of the competition.
and that is a side of our news package for tonight. But before we go, a recap of our main stories. The 36th state governors under the umbrella of Nigeria governors for the NGF are currently meeting in Abuja. Former Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ike Kwanmada, has taken the rise in cases of xenophobic attacks in South Africa to the October session of the International Parliament for Tolerance and Peace, IPTP, holding in Ethiopia. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has threatened to embark on a nationwide strike if the federal government fails to remit the salaries of its members at the end of this month. And in the world of sports, we brought you a report that any major national SC of our Babu State Calf Confederation Cup could stay chances with a 2 0 win against TS Galaxy in Aba. And that was news. Thanks for sharing your time with us. But you stay tuned for Akokora and you join us at 11 p.m. for our news update. I am Ruth Ohams. Good night. <laughs> MCL